Hi guys, Tyler here from Regency Cigar. Uh, wanted to do a, a quick how-to video on repairing your lighter. Uh, I get a lot of customers who come in who are having problems with their lighter, and a lot of times it's just something simple. So I want to go over a few of the basics on trying to diagnosing your lighter yourself. Uh, one of the biggest things I, I see with lighters, uh, the spark is not jumping off the one of the heads of the jet. So this is my uh, Zycar Trezzo. So what I did, I went ahead and on it, in the lighter there's an igniter, and the igniter sends a spark to this little piece of metal that hangs over the jet of the lighter. So the biggest thing I see, that little piece is sometimes bent up a little too far or over a little too far, and it, the spark is not arcing off the head of the jet. So if you're having problems with your lighter, uh, take a look at it and when you pull down look to see where the spark is sometimes you'll see it or the biggest thing I see it's arcing off the back of the lighter not off the jet at all and when you're looking into the lighter make sure you're not too close just in case it does happen to light I don't want to see uh, anyone get their eyebrows or anything so with this uh, the metal piece is bent up too far so it's arcing off the back of the lighter so simple fix uh, make sure the lighter's not hot before you push it down uh, a lot of times you can do this with your finger or a small screwdriver. Uh, bend it down slightly, do it in small increments, and once you get the right spot, your lighter will start lighting again. Uh, next problem, sometimes it's just bad, bad fluid in a lighter. So take a small screwdriver. Uh, don't use a pen because you tend to ruin the pen, and I don't like how a pen kind of fits. I, you don't want to bend the piece to fill, that fills the lighter. So I'm using a small flathead screwdriver and just light pressure and bleed the butane out of the lighter. This helps purge the air out of it if there's air stuck into it. Just push right down the piece inside and release all the butane. Air gets trapped inside a lighter sometimes so you'll have a, a flame that like almost hesitates up and down. So then go ahead and refill your lighter light pressure and then once you do that you're going to want to let your lighter sit for a few minutes the fuel's liquid inside your lighter right now and you kind of need to, or let it warm up and uh, become a, a gas again so it can work so after you've waited a couple of minutes check your lighter again and a lot of times you'll see a difference um, next thing is sparks working fine but the lighter still doesn't seem to be working uh, one of the biggest tricks I use too, uh, just blowing into the lighter. So just take the lighter. I usually try to have the lighter on when I do this. So sit mine lit, so just make sure it's blown out and just blow back into the lighter. You can do this with just blowing into it or even some compressed air. A lot of times it just loosens up any dirt that's gotten in there from lighting a cigar and ashes falling into it. And that can be a quick fix for you. Uh, next, sometimes the head, the, jet, the head of the jet is just so dirty, it can't get a good spark off it, or the butane's just not coming through it right. So take a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol, and uh, clean the head of the lighter. So I'll go through and I'll, I'll clean each head to make sure it looks nice and clean. There's uh, no tar or nicotine stuck onto it, and then I'll blow out the lighter again uh, with the compressed air, or just with blowing into it, and then trying to relight the lighter. Those are two of your major, uh, like kind of your major fixes most of the time. Next, uh, you're going to light your lighter and nothing's happening. So take it, make sure your lighter's turned up all the way. Try to light it and make sure there's gas coming out of it. Uh, another thing, a lot of lighters, they don't even seem to be letting out any gas. So pull down, light the lighter. If it didn't light, just make sure you've already clicked it before you go to listen to see if there's any gas coming out and listen to see if you can hear a hiss. Uh, just make sure you don't light it as you're going up to your ear because if it lights as you're trying to hear and it burns your ear, that's a problem. <laughs> that would hurt. So if there's no gas coming out of it at that point you have the lighter turned all the way up, sometimes the pin that's inside the chamber gets stuck. So I'll turn the lighter all the way down and then turn it all the way back up to try to get the pin to loosen back up. And then uh, try it again. After that, if you've seen to diagnose all the symptoms, you check to make sure you have a good spark, you check to make sure the lighter's clean, bleeding all the butane out of it, and cleaning the heads of the lighter, and it still doesn't work, you're getting into something that's a little more major of an issue, and you probably want to send it back to the company to get it checked. 
Another thing too with these with the lighter, if you go to click it and there's no spark at all, try uh, bending down the little sparker piece a little closer to the jet, and if there's still no spark, chances are your igniter's probably malfunctioned in the lighter or it's broken, so you're pretty much stuck there. You're going to need to send the lighter back. Hopefully they can fix it. Uh, beauty of Zycar, which I have, lifetime guarantee. So really, if you have any of these problems and you can't seem to figure it out yourself, send it back to Zycar, or you can bring it back to Regency Cigar. We'd be happy to replace it for you, or if I can, if I can fix it, I'll fix it right then and there. If you guys have any questions or is anything else I can help you with, by all means, post a comment and uh, I'll try to address your question or do another video for you guys. Thank you.